Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been doing well. Hope you have been enjoying the new year and settling in. Today we are here reviewing out. Wait, that is not Toto. Hold on a second. All right, that's better. That is Toto. And man, have I been waiting to talk about this guy. You know, the Jujutsu Kaisen line for sure has been a little bit on the tiny side. You know, we haven't gotten a whole lot of releases. We've only been getting minimal, you know, three releases or so probably a year. You know, I'm hoping after season two of Jujutsu Kaisen that that picks up because boy, oh boy, we need these guys to fight some curses. But without further ado, I'm gonna open this guy up. We'll talk a little bit about his design and then get into the accessories and all of the good stuff. All right, see you there. All right, so we've got our boy Toto here, and you know, first thing, just out the box. I mean, the dude is just the muscle mass, the bulkiness. He's just amazing, all right? He looks just like he popped out the anime for me. The only thing that could make this better is if he actually came with his, uh, his school uniform, just so he can complete the look if you wanted to, but I'm sure somebody will come around and make that uh, via third party. Uh, however, there are currently some options that actually look really good uh, that kind of give that, uh, I would say, season two feel. Um, but to talk about this guy, he's got shading across him on the upper torso and lower torso and the arms. And to me, you know, I'm not, you know, that doesn't, it's not something that I personally look for in figures just because that's just not me. But to see it here, just on a random, you know, general release for a line that's only doing about, you know, two to three figures a year. Uh, for what I would say is a pretty popular series, uh, it's pretty surprising. And I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate that it ha it's applicable to this figure. So yeah, that's a, that's a huge dub on Tamashi's part. I would like to see if they can do that more often. And, you know, considering that this figure is still currently on sale, uh, it's not necessarily sold out everywhere. Um, be interesting uh, just to see. But yeah, let's dive deep into his accessories because they showed a new one off just shortly before his release. So let's uh, get that one out first. Now we're kind of mixing two things in here at once since I brought the uh, extra hand part as well. But uh, I won't say what the pendant is just because if you haven't seen the episode, then I don't want to spoil that for you, but it is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, he uh, looks pretty, pretty cool with it. And it is just a nice accessory to have in general as opposed to it being something already glued down to his body, right? Or molded into the body. Uh, you can kind of customize it to your needs if you want to put it on someone else, as it just is this little tiny uh, block right there. It doesn't really open or anything like that. Additionally, you get a hand just kind of holding the pendant uh, if you want to. And yeah, it, pretty cool. Uh, didn't expect to see that. They have done that a few times where they kind of wait to show off a new accessory that is part of the package you've already paid for. I think they did that with Ichigo with one of the faces. I believe it was a shocked face, I wanna say. A shocked, scared expression that he had, something like that. But I don't mind that they do that. It's just, it wouldn't hurt to say that there's like something to look forward to extra, just so you're not, I guess, thrown off maybe. But it's still a nice surprise either way. Uh, but let's get into the rest of his accessories. All right, so we can't forget these crossed arms here. Look very, very nice and match perfectly, I would say. Uh, can't really tell if there's really any shading on these ones, but like I said, uh, just for the fact that it's across the body uh, is, is great. Uh, but yeah, crossed arms are nice. I don't think that they really fit with any other characters per se. Um, like I know people would probably think of like uh, superhero Gohan, for example, I don't think they fit um, just because he is a bulkier dude. Uh, the build is just, you know, too big. And up here in this portion right here, uh, the bicep is probably just a little too big and might be interfering with some of the other stuff. So if you're trying to customize it, you might have to end up just using this, this whole body if you wanted to do that. Uh, but yeah, looks really nice. Let's get the rest of the accessories out. All right, so of course, we're gonna get these face plates going. And I will say the face plates do look like they're not necessarily the same skin tone going with that shading. Uh, and 
I guess that's up to preference how much that would bother you, but uh, it's just something to point out. But this is the expression that comes out the box, kind of like grinning, smiling. Here we have kind of our stern, serious expression. Here we have another kind of serious expression, maybe a little bit more relaxed. Still pretty serious. And here we have our big total smile, laughing, pumped to fight. And I had to save the best for last. Just the pure ecstasy of, of battle is uh, thrive to fight with his brother. I, I just, this, this face right here, man, that, that's like on the levels of the SH Figure Arts Turles that came out uh, <laughs> early 2023. That's just, it's funny, it's funny. And of course we have our fists that come right out the box. Now this is a pose he does with Itadori, but it would have been nice maybe if Itadori came with a, a hand like this of sorts, um, or at least, you know, an, another expression, you know, just for being happy or something. Cause I know a lot of people are kind of asking for that and you might just have to wait for a whole another figure, but as people say on the internet right now, Itsudori has nothing to be happy about, so you might never see that, to be honest. But all right, let's get the rest of these hands out the way and get to the articulation. Now, the next three pairs of hands I'm showing you here are pretty much, you know, you can use them in which ways you want for him to begin his clapping uh, or just, you know, regular stance, fighting pose, etc. You know, whatever you want to do. but. For the most part, they are all something you can use for a clapping type of pose, as displayed on the box as well. Here is the kind of semi-open hands getting ready to clap, just right there. And here we have our, let's call them clapping hands. We're going to call these type of hands clapping hands from now on, because that, that is pretty much what I'm going to think of every time I see these. Uh, but yeah, with that, with that Let's move into the articulation of uh, Toto here. All right, so first things first, as always, we gotta start with the head, and uh, I feel like the head is pretty stiff on mine. I'm not certain if it can really go any lower than that, but that's about as far as I've been able to get him to go. And then looking up is not, not really the best. And I mean, it is on a ball double ball peg here, but I feel like maybe there's just not enough space for him to really move his head back, unfortunately. So you're really gonna be taking advantage of the torso um, and waist if you wanna have him looking up, unfortunately. Um, but arms, pretty good. Get into that Y pose. You got your articulation here at the bicep, articulation at the elbow, and you've got your wrist swivel. And the butterfly joint, not too bad, not too bad. Of course, you can extend it out more. Very, very good. And as for the articulation here in the upper torso, so it is on a ball peg hinge, as you've seen with pretty much, at this point, every, I wanna say every single Jujutsu Kaisen fig, except maybe Nobara. Nobara, I think, is a little bit different since she's got a skinnier frame, but all of them, and especially Sukuna, they have the same type of articulation here, which is good and bad at the same time, because Sukuna's problem was that he really couldn't crunch forward too much. And I think, you know, it looks good when you don't see like the inside portions here and it's not too gapped out. But at the same time, it doesn't really leave you with too much articulation right there. He's not really bending down too much. And I mean, going back is not too bad. Uh, and I briefly will take this off since it's not really that difficult. Pop it off. And this is like soft plastic. You can bend it, but it doesn't really help you in the grand scheme of the articulation, which granted, again, I mean, for the most part, he's fine. Um, it's just, I guess, if it bothers you, you know, that's, that's kind of what you're dealing with. It is sitting a little low, I would say, inside of the, uh, the uh, what do I call this? stomach area, let's just call it that for now. Um, if it, maybe if it was sitting a little higher, he could bend forward more, but I don't know. Um, I could see that it should be, I could see them doing that 
for Sukuna because they don't want the paint to rub off on all of his, you know, tats and whatnot, but he doesn't really have that problem, so I, I don't know. Uh, additionally, his waist is also on a ball peg, so we'll briefly show that, and then I'll show the articulation. All right, there you go. Just like every other Jujutsu Kaisen fig, which, hey, if it ain't broke, you don't gotta fix it. So, yeah, that that is my opinion on that. Uh, but using both of those, that is about as much range as you're gonna get. And let me just move his arm so you can see better, uh, which is not too bad. And of course, as I always say, you've got your crotch here if you wanna additionally get that articulation. Um, but yeah, moving forward into the legs, Toto can do uh, a split if you you know make sure you put the uh, piece right here that goes up just under the sash. Uh, got your thigh swivel. You can kick up pretty much all the way. Get that 90 degrees and then some. And of course you've got your ankle swivel. Unfortunately, no articulation here at the bottom, which I'm starting to want to see a little bit more just so you won't have to solely rely on the, uh, you know, the ball peg here for the ankle. If you had articulation here, which you've seen on some figures, mostly a lot of Naruto figures too, um, it just helps with being able to have that extra articulation um, and being able to pose the way you want. So overall, for what he can do though, it is about standard to any other fig we've got. Uh, maybe a little bit better in some cases, but for his bulkiness, his size, he poses very well. So highly, highly happy with this one for sure. Um, but with that, I think it's a good time to get into our conclusion of this video. Um, so join me in about five, four, three, two, one. Clap with me. All right. So this probably moved along a lot faster than I thought it was going to, but you know, Toto as a figure, uh, solid release. Definitely worth it. Uh, if you love Toto, highly recommend getting him. Uh, if you don't like Toto and you don't know who he is, I still would recommend, you know, you look into Jutsu Kaisen and you get him because he's a solid figure. And I mean, he's probably good for some custom parts too if you're trying to make a kit bash of something. I initially, before the legendary Super Saiyan Goku came out, was actually going to try to see what this body could offer me in terms of a bulky Super Saiyan body for the Namek Saga. So I mean, hey, the applications are there. You can try some stuff, uh, but definitely the articulation, it works, nothing wrong with it. Areas that could be improved, of course, but for what they released, it works, it's great. Uh, the extra uh, accessory with the pendant and the extra hand for, to hold the pendant, really nice inclusions. Um, and I'm sure you've noticed this, some of the figures in this line are also cross compatible with hands. so. It's always nice. Uh, of course, you know, they're going to favor in terms of the skin tone uh, being different, but it's just nice to have that as an option. Same with the One Piece line, um, just in case, for whatever reason, you want to have them doing something crazy. Um, but yeah, I also really admire these facial expressions that they did. They're very creative, very, um, what's the word I want to say? I guess expressive. We'll just say expressive for now. Um, this, this particular faceplate he has on is just... It's 100% it's the best out of the pack. It's, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, highly recommend the figure. Um, and I have been seeing this topic pop up a lot more um, and in some videos from other creators as well. And that's more about the Jujutsu Kaisen line as a whole right now, right? Like where, what's going on? Why are we not getting, you know, more announcements and more promotion for it? Why does it seem like it's on the back end of stuff? And honestly, I mean, those are good questions. But when I look at it, it's like, yes, we, I think we definitely deserve more figures for this line. Um, the series is over for, for the season two, at least. Right. So they're going to be on another break for who knows how long could be another two years. Could be three, could be four, you know, shout out to the map animators because, oh boy, what they put out and still being work like that. Oh my God. But you know, we don't know how long it'll be. So they have a whole lot of content to work with at this point. And who's to say they don't want to randomly pull something from the manga, right? Like the Kohling games, that's the next arc. I believe that's going to be, you know, taking place in the actual anime. So they would likely want to prepare for that, right? 
However, again, we don't know how far off that is from being in the anime. So that's left with, do they continue off with the hidden inventory arc stuff? You know, give um, young Gojo and Ghetto an actual villain to fight, which, yes, everybody asking, Toji, 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 yes, we get it. All right, move on. Um, but yeah, I would like to see Toji, right? It's got to happen at some point. They've got to give up more bad guys to fight. I think we're good on hero characters right now, right? The good, quote unquote, the good guys. Um, I would like to see them branch out, you know, Mahito, Hanami, Jogo, uh, Mahito, etc. Right? I don't want to have to rely on Figma to do it. I like Tamashi when they, you know, can get the SH figure outs rolling just because the articulation, it's just a lot better in most cases. Um, but, you know, that's really your only option at this point is either be patient, wait who knows how long for XYZ character, hopefully Maki. Or you go with Figma and potentially get either a good looking figure with horrible articulation or a good articulated figure with maybe decent design, right? So it's it's hard right now. But I really am hoping, you know, Tamashi potentially sees that this series like this this series is gonna do well as for figures, right? Like I really think Toto is gonna get really good positive reception. Uh, I think that the line as a whole, people are craving for more, and I wouldn't mind seeing more than three figures a year for this line, while maybe they take one or two other lines that they're working on and condense them down that are not really receiving so much, you know, notoriety, because they may not, they just may not be, you know, good, you know? Uh, but yeah, th to end it, essentially, I, I think the line is safe for now, um, but I definitely think that they need to take advantage of this time with the season being over to really go ham and get us more sorcerers and curse spirits because boy oh boy there's nowhere else i can turn to for any any villain characters really there's no one making mahito there's no one making jogo there's no one making hanami we've only gotten sukuna and ghetto we don't even have xyz character from uh season two that i can't say right now so yeah it, it sucks, but without further ado, I think I'm going to end it here. If you want to see this topic more in a video, like full length video, let me know because I think it's worth the topic or, or a stream or something. I don't know, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you guys are going to go pick up Toto. Um, I think every little bit counts. Definitely keep showing your support for the line on, on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Uh, just try to do it respectfully, okay? You guys in the comments are freaking ruthless. But without further ado, I will catch you guys later. Peace.